Before the break, we had the news from Dubai that India had won the toss and have decided to bowl first. Um, that puts a lot of pressure on Namibia in their batting lineup, and it might, of course, dare I say it, lead to a slightly shortened game. Um, but for India, if that's the way they want to do it, if they want to chase down whatever they have to chase, then that is the best way of finishing, I suppose, on a high with a win. And uh, that's up to Virat Kohli uh, and his team. So let's just check on the the two teams. That's the first thing we need to do. A couple of changes here and there. One in each team, uh, as I remember it. Uh, for Namibia, um, they brought back, because um, they've left out the man with the shoes, Carl Birkenstock. <laughs> so the free shoes are out of it. Uh, Jan Freilink is back in. He had a bit of an injury, so he missed the last game. Uh, so otherwise, you know, Stefan Bard at the top has looked pretty good. Uh, Erasmus, the captain, would, I'm sure, like to finish on a bit of a high as well. David Visa is their sort of local superstar, if I can put it that way. And he certainly hits a long ball when he gets it going. And, well, the bowling, Trumpelman, Ruben Trumpelman has been their star. Um, Lofty Eaton is the, uh, the leg spinner. So let's see what goes on. But they are going to be batting first and need to try and put a decent total on the board if they possibly can. Uh, for India, the one change, uh, Chahar, or Chahar comes in, leg spinner. Uh, Chakravarti is the man who makes way to get the leg spinner in. Otherwise, very much the same team, so we've talked a lot about them already in the program. Uh, lots of batting up front, lots of very, very good batting up front. How much of that batting will be needed later when they chase their target remains to be seen. Um, but have a look at that team for one last time, because there is a suspicion that things will be changing after this tournament. OK, so we've seen the teams, we know the toss, we know that India will be bowling first, Namibia have to do their best to set a suitable target. Let's um, have a look at the Namibian batting. Um, I mean, their captain's a very impressive man. We talked a lot about Virat just now. Um, rather different existence, isn't it? Virat Kohli, captain of India, being watched by over a billion people, every move he makes, and with a huge reputation from cricket in the country. Herat Erasmus, who leads a country where cricket is a, you know, a lesser known sport, mm. but saying quite nicely um, at the toss there that interest has sparked. They're getting lots of great messages. The country, Namibia, is following them. Um, and he's been responsible for this side getting into this Super 12s and responsible for keeping a good spirit going. Yes, and uh, it's not easy to, to lead a side where, which is not strong enough for the competition. Um, I've done that myself um, a lot of times in different competitions where you are the underdogs in most of the matches. And he's, he's done wi that with a lot of dignity, a lot of fight also. His, he had an injured finger. He played on with that injured mm -hmm. finger. He took the field. He and, and he's got the team gelled together. He has used his resources, whatever resources he had, he has used them really, really well. We have seen um, David Visa perform. We have seen uh, Franklin perform. We have seen Trumpelman being used at the right time. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, overall, his captaincy has been good in terms of whatever resources he's had. And we have got, I mean, Scotland <coughs> will have new stars um, in, in cricket now. I mean, that's mm -hmm. really, they're really important. Yeah. And this is yeah. the Namibian batting. If we now move to Namibian batting, David Visa at the top. Uh, no surprises there. Subse important pick rahi hai is pure World Cup ki uh, Namibia ke liye. David Visa average 50 pe hai. Strike rate 131. Phir uske baad captain Erasmus hai. Uh, Williams ne bhi acha perform kiya hai aur uske baad chote chote batches pe perform kiya hai Bard ne uh, jo Smith hai unhone acha strike rate pe ek do achhi innings kheli hai Rashid bhai so overall jo inke paas resources thi jo inke paas talent tha us hisab se inhone jaan puri mari achhe spirit se cricket yeah, they associate member jo aap unhe tawqo thi uske lihaz se achhi batting bhi ki bowling bhi ki inhone captaincy agar dekhte hain Rashid ki theek thi अपने आयरलैंड को भी हराया नेदरलैंड को भी स्कॉटलैंड को भी जो अपने रीजन की टीम थी या अपने स्टैंडर्ड की उसमें इन्होंने हराया उसमें बाकी आपने बात की डबल विजय की ये रस्मस है <coughs> बहुत अच्छी बैटिंग की है इन्होंने लेकिन एक हद तक एक लिमिटेड है इनके मॉल से आगे नहीं जा सकते तो जो तीन चार टीमों के नाम लिए उसके लिहाज से ये टीम अच्छा परफॉर्म किया और इस वर्ल्ड कप के बाद ये सोचेंगे जरूर कि हमें मजीद इसमें बेहतरी करनी है और डेविड विजय की जैसे बात की वो अदर बात कर लेंगे लेकिन उन्होंने एक दिखाया कि वो इंटरनेशनल क्रिकेटर एक रह चुके हैं और काफी पुराने क्रिकेटर ये नहीं कि अभी के अभी हैं उन्होंने अच्छा परफॉर्म किया नमीबिया के लिए अजहर भाई डेविड वीसा जो है साउथ अफ्रीका के लिए भी खेल चुके हैं और इस टीम के लिए एक 
एक बड़े इम्पोर्टेंट फिगर भी हैं कप्तान बेशक रास्मस हों पर वीसा का एक बड़ा ही इम्पोर्टेंट रोल है हमने देखा है उनकी भी परफॉर्मेंस पाकिस्तान के अगेंस्ट छोटी टीम के अगेंस्ट तो उन्होंने प्लेयर ऑफ द मैचेस किए पर पाकिस्तान के अगेंस्ट भी 31 वन बॉल्स में 43 थ्री रन बनाए तो अच्छे बहुत टैलेंटेड हैं और अंडर प्रेशर भी बड़ा अच्छा परफॉर्म कर सकते हैं डेफिनेटली जैसे वीजे की बात है तो सब लोगों को पता है कि वो अराउंड द वर्ल्ड लीग भी खेल रहे हैं पी में भी खेल रहे हैं उसके बाद ससिक से भी खेल रहे हैं साउथ अफ्रीका से भी खेले तो उनमें इतनी कैपेबिलिटी थी कि वो साउथ अफ्रीका के नेशनल टीम के लिए भी खेले हैं और जिस तरह की उनकी परफॉर्मेंस है आई थिंक इम्पैक्ट प्लेयर इस टीम में भी मैं कहूँगा वैसे भी इम्पैक्ट प्लेयर हैं जैसे आकिब भाई ने बात की कि जिस वक्त उनका रोल जो है जिस भी टीम में खेले हैं उनका रोल है कि वो फिनिशर के तौर पर इस्तेमाल हुआ है चार लास्ट चार पाँच ओवरों में उनको ये मौका मिलता है तो वो गेम को अच्छा फिनिश करते हैं सीधी बड़ी अच्छी शॉट खेलते हैं और उसके बाद जो है ना पावर बहुत है उनमें कि वो शॉट ऑफ अलेंथ बॉल को भी खेल देते हैं एक्स्ट्रा पेस के गेम्स थोड़ी सी आई थिंक प्रॉब्लम हो सकती है उनको लेकिन ओवरऑल अगर जो उनकी परफॉर्मेंस देखें विद द बॉल विद द बैट और ड्यूरिंग फील्डिंग भी ना तो वो इस टीम का एक किस्म का लीडर तो नहीं थे लेकिन बिहाइंड द सीन वो लीडर ही थे इस टीम के लीडर जरूर थे कैप्टन ना भी हों लीडर जरूर हैं इस टीम के बिल्कुल um so of course uh, both rasmus and um, david visa have been a very important part of the the, the journey that scotland made throughout this world cup and namibia sorry so namibia sorry uh, for for the for the world cup and uh, i think now we can discuss the bowling also. we can let's ask you some quick word about david visa though because talking about final hurrahs it's likely quite possible that it's going to be his last innings last game anyway in a world t20 because namibia no guarantees they'll qualify again i mean whatever they've enjoyed in this tournament they've got to do it all again for next year to qualify again haven't they that's right uh, he's had a, a fantastic um, tour so far and what i think overall when you look at the team in a sense uh, here's an opportunity for them to come up against the indian team who's who's really down not in confidence but uh, with the, where they at at present and uh well, they're tired you, you after know, the yeah, IPL you, 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 they're tired okay <laughs> and w- what I think, what I think also is the fact that um, you never know what sort of mindset that they may come into the game with. If they are a little slack in terms of uh, their confidence, well, here is an opportunity for. And you, we'd, we'd have heard Erasmus speak about the, the folks at home and the support that which they would have uh, certainly had. Mm. Here is an opportunity for them, if India is slack in any way, for them to finish on a big, big note. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you are always the champion of the underdog. That's right. That's right. That's right. I, I'm always do, do, in the front. Do you keep pets at home? No, not really. Okay, we'll just take this one home with you. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. Yes, as uh, Sana said, we need to look at the bowling as well, and they need to put a target up on the board first. So they need those runs on the board first, uh, and then they're going to try and defend. Uh, the bowling figures that we've we, you know, historically over the last few weeks now. Uh, you know, Freilink, who's back into the team as their leading wicket taker. Uh, Visa, of course, important as an all-rounder. Trumpleman's the one who I like. I mean, he's g- shown great skill, uh, enthusiasm, genuine pace. Bit of swing early on. Uh, JJ Smith, uh, he's done his bits, and you've got the the other three as well. Schultz, Lofty, Eaton, and even the captain bowled himself the other day uh, with that broken finger, heavily injected. Um, but who's the who's the key there? Trumpleman. Let's talk about Ruben Trumpleman one last time. He's he's big, he's <coughs> fast, he's left arm, and as we know, Aki. Yeah, being big, fast, and left arm is the key to success in this tournament. I think uh, we have seen uh, uh, Trumpleman. Uh, he's a kind of bowler. He looks like a, a proper international qualities. Uh, he's strong action, decent pace, and uh, can move the ball both ways. Look, that's mm-hmm. straight away. And uh, the key, is <coughs> the main strength of his uh, Trumpleman is. This the ball uh, brings in. Uh, so there is always a doubt in a batsman mind that which way is going to swing. If there is something in the pitch, wherever this guy will be always on the top of his first uh, few overs, even in the T20s. But I think uh, you know what YCC can do is uh, the best associate team, whoever. Now it's uh, Zimba- uh, Namibia. Give them something because they worked done well, worked hard. So they should be the automatic choice for the coming, uh, the next uh, World Cup, and then train them properly. Mm. Uh, so this is how you can improve these associate country because they worked hard, uh, they qualify, and afterwards 
they, they've gone back to the same uh, what do you call it? backyard where there's no competitive cricket there's nothing so if they if they want more teams to come and compete at the level then the ICC have to look after them mm -hmm. would it be fair to say that uh, Champerman what he did in this particular tournament his resume would have risen at some a point in terms resume, of, yeah, yes. in, yeah, in terms <coughs> of uh, franchises around the world so that's a plus well, for it's, them. It's, it's given him a platform yes mm -hmm. it's given him a stage mm -hmm. um, and I think he's done well on it mm -hmm. And you look at him, you know, he's got all the right attributes. Because at the time, they're, they're full-time, they're not full-time full, full -time, uh, professional players. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, during the day, you know, I had suffered in the UAE. Uh, took me five years to make them professional. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. now, if, they, if you give them a central contract and tell them, okay, look, now you are a professional cricketer. You got one year, coming World Cup, make your mark, improve your cricket, mm -hmm. and then moving forward, you might have... Uh, more test teams or ODI teams like <coughs> Afghanistan and Ireland. Tricky question. Is he good enough to play um, high level franchise cricket? <coughs> Triple Yeah. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He is. So if, for instance, um, yeah, whichever competition, PSL maybe, um, I'm not talking about IPL, but yeah, Big Bash, whatever they might, yeah, these, these guys will now know he's there. And that actually, that is part of the process too, because we've seen for even players from England coming to say, PSL, IPL, whatever it might be, Big Bash, it gives them valuable experience. Because so what someone we like have seen is gain a lot. What we have seen is the that. teams has like a left arm, good fast bowler. It's added ad advantage. Mm -hmm. So whoever franchise is looking for a left arm seamer, he's the one. Mm -hmm. And if franchises want a lawyer, <laughs> they can go for Herat Erasmus. Erasmus, he's the lawyer. He's a lawyer. That's quite important. And an all rounder. Yeah, we saw that uh, off spinny bowl the other day in Sharjah yeah. with that and, broken and finger leader, and a leader. Quite impressive. It depends what uh, is he a criminal, <laughs> a lawyer, hmm? whatever he's. That's uh, why he's got a great respect as captain. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>